First off, um, our century now starts with a two. It no longer starts with a one. <laughs> right. So let, let's just lay that there, is that we I'll are that in modern, <laughs> we're in a modern century, and you know your, um, your microwave, your refrigerator has computer chips in it now. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 432nd episode of Potty Talk here. And hey, question for you. Are you still using pen and paper? What? Uh, Why are you still using pen and paper? That's dumb. That is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Some may even say stupid. It's on me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, stop being a hack. All right. Well, we're going to go over some things here. I got, got an expert in. We got uh, Daniel Myers with uh, Field Pulse, all right, he's an expert in field management um, systems, and is gonna, we're going to talk a little bit about why should be off field um, pen and paper and should be using a field management software system, yes. okay, and how easy it really is, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. all right, hey, but before we get started, before I bring Daniel on here, mm -hmm. I just want to say, hey, if you want to know more about these kinds of things, you're starting your, starting your home service business, or you, you, know, you, you have a home service business, you know, plumbing, HVAC, electrical, handyman, whatever, you know, garage doors, Okay, painting, okay? And you're just trying to get to the next level, okay? Trying to um, figure some things out in business. Trying to figure things out, we can help you, all right? We want to recommend the Success Academy. You want to learn more about that where we teach the business of home service, okay? You're a great technician. You're great at what you're doing. Uh, the problem is you weren't taught how to be great at business, okay? You're great, how, you know, taught how to be a great craftsman, okay? Not business, okay? Right. We There's teach the business. There is a difference, all right? So if you're starting out, looking to get to the next level, we're here to help here. You want to learn more about the Success Academy, you can check it out. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash success. No, call. Or, no, success. Oh, success. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I okay. just cried. You're right, honey. Okay. Yes. All right. Sorry. So get right at it. Okay. <laughs> Milliondollarpro.com forward slash success. Success. All right. Yes. Learn more about the Success Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So check it out. All right. Hey, let's get at it. Let's bring uh, Mr. Daniel Myers on. All right. All right. Hey, as promised there, we have Daniel uh, Myers, all right, with Field Pulse, okay, hey, our field management hey, guys. expert. Man, it's good to talk with you again. Good to see you, brother. Hey, thanks for having me back. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, all right. Hey, appreciate you and Field Pulse here. And mm -hmm. that's why I'm glad you're here because we're, we're talking about, um, you know, having a field management um, system in place, you know. You well, know, I'm going to be the, the con on this because I am just going to be the one who's like, no, it must be pen and paper. That's the best route to go. Okay. So you're going to poke holes in our ideas, <laughs> which is the MO. Welcome to my world, Daniel. <laughs> all right. Okay. I don't know if you have, all right. Okay. So Ms. Laura is the professional steel man. There we yes. go. Yes. Yes. All right. I call it hole poker, but oh, okay. there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, well, that's what leads me, you know, just the other day, Daniel, in fact, this just happened. I, you know, I spoke to, you know, a, a, you know, one truck, Chuck, you know, a company or whatever, great guy, uh, you know, wants to build and all that kind of stuff, but he was still on pen and paper, still using pen mm -hmm. and paper. My favorite. You know, and I, you know, we started, like, why are you still on pen and paper? Well, it's just what I have or whatever. Why, why aren't you using, you know, field pulses? I'm like, you know, okay. whatever, why, why, why? Well, I don't know. I feel, you know, pen and paper works. I had our conversation, Daniel, <laughs> you're, you know, you see literally not thousands of it. You've been around, you know, why, why do I need to get off pen and paper and use something like Field Pulse, a field management software system. Convince me, Daniel. Well, first off, um, our century now starts with a two. It no longer starts with a one. <laughs> right. So let, let's just lay that there. Is that we are that in modern? <laughs> we are in a modern century, and you know your um, your microwave, your refrigerator has computer chips in it now. Everything right. is gone digital. Everything has gone electronic. Um, and I'll be honest, much to my own dismay, uh, a lot of things have turned into miniature computers. Uh, you know, look at how we're talking to each other right now. It's, it's magic right. to me. I, I don't I understand think. it, but, oh, uh, um, remember, you remember so, the cartoon? I'm sorry. Jetsons. That was my favorite cartoon. You're no, yeah. you're, you're a youngin, but you remember, <laughs> I, I remember I watched, Jetsons? Well, I watched yeah. the Jetsons when it wasn't a rerun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, okay. All right. Fine. And it was amazing. Uh, I thought it'd be so cool. That how they would talk to someone that have, showed video. There was a phone was yep. you could see them. And here's what we're doing. Right. Day. It is. Right. So the the if if you want to talk software versus pen and paper, you are essentially handcuffed by pen and paper. You are extremely limited. Uh, you do not have a whole lot of flexibility. You do not have a whole lot of security. 
and you definitely are not being efficient with your time. Uh, I have, have, similar to you, Richard, I have had conversations with people where they explain to me, they think that they can write things down faster in an estimate or in an invoice faster than they can click (laughs) buttons on a screen and get something over to somebody. That was going to be my argument. Go. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, you maybe can until you learn uh, uh, one simple trick as an example of inside of a piece of software, you can have automations built out and automations can mean lots of different things, but I'll use one specific example of estimate uh, templates. You can build templates for estimates, right? If that's a capacitor change out for AC guys, if that's a, a, a two pole 20 amp breaker, somebody's going to kill me about that little detail uh, right, right. for electricians <laughs> or, you know, a, a, a simple, um, let's just call it a, a, a faucet change out for on, on plumbing or a, a, a water shut off underneath the sink. The same kind of right. job you do 10, 12 times a week. You put that into a template so it's the same job every single time. And then you click into that template, you add the customer to the estimate and you push send and you're done. Mm-hmm. I will race you <laughs> yeah, try yeah. to write an estimate faster than that. Mm-hmm. It's just, you just can't. No, and then you're exactly right. And I know I'm being physically facetious, but that automation, that's the key. So it may take you a little bit of time to get that information correct, the correct way in a field management software, right? It may take you, yes, may take you longer than what it would initially take you to write an invoice, but you're the time you spent writing that invoice over and over and over hundreds of times to the, the, you know, whatever time it takes to put that in the field management software once I mean, you yes. just you you've created time out of thin air is what you've done. And yes. time is money. Correct. Yes. That's what, and my and, favorite and to, to elaborate on, on a conversation I had with a gentleman similar to yourself recently, um, I, I told him what you just said, Laura, a, a, a field service management platform software like this is an investment in your business. Um, there's a lot of tangents we can go off on about that, but I'll keep it to the point here. It's an investment in your business. And think of it as an investment in your time. You are going to devote a lot of time in the beginning to getting everything set up, to getting all of your inventory, all of your items, all of your templates set up, like I just talked about, all of your customers, all of your transactions, everything. Yes, it is a big chunk of time that you will invest in the beginning, and it will pay you back five minutes at a time for years. Yes. That's the perfect way to say it. Well, it's kind of like having your truck. You know, the time it takes to set your truck up, the initial time mm-hmm. to get all the right, I mean, just to get everything in the right spot, you know, get the shelving in the right spot and even the supplies in there, the time it takes to do that. And then you're able just to work, how easily you already work out of that. The difference mm-hmm. is with, with this, having, you know, your, your field management platform or software system in place, you know, like Field Pulse, is that when you use the parts, it automatically just, you know, you don't have to restock it again. It's, hey. like, it's that one time done. It's it's just time and time, you know, but you have that initial time of, you know, putting everything in the truck. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But yep. you don't have to reorder ever again. It's there. There forever. You know? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love that. Right. Yep. Yeah. So automating your time and, and getting time back. Um. Yeah. You, you created time out of thin air. And time yes. is money. Time is money. Okay. <laughs> so, so how does, then this also the platform, you know, how does it help me manage my day any better i mean what? so what I, what I said earlier about uh laura to your point about pen and paper is you don't have any security um and what i mean by that is having a pad of pen and paper um i i, I have seen some of these systems and, and by that i mean some of the hand-drawn columns for monday tuesday wednesday that people yeah. use in different addresses at different times That's if you're if you're the owner of a business and if you're by yourself, you know, you can argue that you could do it. Um, I would counter the argue with time, but we've already covered that. But well, we're talking on that, Daniel, I don't mean to cut you off, brother. But uh, on that, you know, we started if you're doing it yourself, normally it's the it's the business, the owner, the technician owner. Right. And we're good at it and we can do it. We, we can mm-hmm. kind of keep track of it in our minds and all, because first but of all, we're, scalable. We're, we're good exactly. and we care, but right. We're not, it can't scale. We can't scale it. So you bring someone on so that you can make more money, you know, take care of more mm-hmm. customers, that kind of thing. You can't, yeah, you can't scale that. Right. You can't scale it. So, 
Um, and, and, and the reason I talk about security about that is that that pad of paper, that piece of paper is with you. Um, yeah, yeah. It's with it's with you. It's with nobody else. You can't duplicate it. You know, you can't. It's it's very difficult to send a, a, a picture on. You know, you would take a picture with your phone and send it to your tech and say, this is your schedule for the day. You know, things change. Uh, things change quite often. Uh, Richard, you and I have been in businesses where the phone rings, you know. <laughs> Uh, the phone continues to ring and somebody cancels, somebody else fills in, somebody, right. you know, wants to reschedule this and that and the other. And so with a piece of software running your business, it's it's you in the truck. If if you are a one man show, it's you in the truck. More than likely, it's your wife at home or your wife, you know, her second job is maybe working for you, uh, answering the phones or maybe you have an assistant or maybe you do have a couple of other techs. And given some certain permissions and given some certain rules within your own business, you could have two or three people modifying the schedule, you know, which, which, which might scare some people of you have three people, you know, three cooks in the kitchen make, but you also, it goes back to the administration of your business. If you and say your assistant are allowed to permission wise, allowed to take phone calls, make edits to the schedule, uh, then you only have two people who are on the same page. And then your technician, he just gets his updated schedule on his phone or on his tablet, whatever device he has on him at all times. And so instantaneously, yeah, it's instantaneous. And you don't have to call him and tell him, hey, your schedule changed because when he's done with the job that he's done, uh, when he's done with the job that he's on, all he does is close out that job, look at his schedule and click the next job. And he's off to the next one. You didn't have to call and give him directions, give him an address. He didn't have to stop what he's doing. It's done automatically. Automate your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Field Pulse, a game-changing management power tool that thousands of businesses just like yours are switching to. Field Pulse makes it easy to bring order to your daily chaos. No more struggling to keep track of your customers, jobs you got going on, and where your guys are at. Field Pulse is the perfect solution for helping you to organize your business, save time, and my favorite part, increase revenue. And with its mobile app, you can access Field Pulse's powerful features to run your business from literally anywhere in the world. Throw in QuickBooks integration, award-winning support, and plans starting at just around $90 per user, it's simply a no-brainer. I love Field Pulse, and I know you will too. To learn more and to schedule a free live demo, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash Field Pulse and see why home service pros everywhere are making a switch to Field Pulse. Right, which yes. I love. Mm -hmm. Which you, you hit on something, Daniel, that even I, I felt this, and I hear this from a lot of guys, is the losing that control. And so that's one reason yeah. I liked pen and paper, because I felt like I was in control. Well, when I, we first I, started, we did, but there was no other options. Well, we used so, we used chisel well, yeah, and stone. And, and we graduated and, and I, to paper. And I pedaled the truck, you know, like <laughs> red phone stone. Okay. Um, but it's... You know, I was afraid of losing that control, but once I got over it and I see it with our guys too, you know, um, if I get, we get them over that hump of, you don't lose control that the, the software actually enables you to have control, which allows you to scale. Yes. Cause now, like you just mentioned, you know, the, having the templates or the, or the, you know, the, yes. um, the estimate sheets, that kind of thing. I can say, I can determine for these kinds of jobs, here's the estimate sheets and I can assure the pricing and, and even the explanation and the time, I I control all that. Now I got to set it up yes. just like I can set the truck up, but now I'm in control and now I can get guys out there. I can control my guys better. And if you have a price, yeah, if you have a pricing increase or something, you can do it once. Right. right? And you can expand on that if you want. I'm, 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 I'm so glad you said pricing that, that, that to me is the number one benefit. And it was surprising to me to, uh, get, getting to, to come work here and then talking to customers and something that I didn't really expect was how often I hear that pricing is an issue. And you have two, two or three different texts with two or three different prices or, right. you know, and like you just said, Laura, you have a price change in your business from your supplier and you have a staff meeting on a, on a, on a Wednesday morning. And one of your guys is out on vacation that week. Well, he comes back the next week and he doesn't have updated pricing because he was out last week. Right. And so he's out selling jobs for you know 10 12 percent less than than what you are currently projected you know what your prices currently are mm -hmm. and it, like i said that's something that that as i've talked to more customers here at field pulse that's that's a surprising topic that comes up a lot i'm i'm surprised that 
pricing was that big of an issue. And all right, cool. Glad yeah, we well, could help. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that solves a lot of problems. What another thing too that it does, which I don't think most people think about, is um, if it's pen and paper, are your technicians spelling correctly? <laughs> right, right. Which make I know it's silly, I mean, it is, but it's that but, whole kind of thing of the value. They don't, right. you know, they mm -hmm. start. People do judge a book, or they'll write like different a, things. And right, and our right. assistant, um, Chelsea, just had um, a plumber out to her house, and she sent me, and he was pen and paper. I don't know if we talked about this last time you were on the show. Yeah, we um, did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, it was just chicken scratches. It was absolutely chicken scratches. You couldn't make heads or tails of it, right? So, mm -hmm. was it the owner or was it the technician? Well, uh, if you have something like a field polls, field management software, you go in and you put in the description, and that. And you make sure you spell it right, right? Do a spell check. That yes. always helps. But then it's every technician that uses it then going forward, you know, it's right. It's correct. You're not worried yes. about, okay, Mrs. Jones is going to see this kind of strange, you know, long, long description. <laughs> or like some texts might do. Um, Replace flapper. Yeah. Repl or yep. fix faucet. And that's it, right? No yep. value at all. And then Mr. Jones gets home, freaks out. We spent what for what? <laughs> fix right. fault. What? <laughs> yeah. Right. So I, I could have done that. that. Right. <laughs> right. I could have fixed the faucet. <laughs> fixed the freaking faucet. Right. Um, so that's to me, that's kind of a, a thing you don't right. think about is that it, there's consistency across the board. Right. And you're the one that gets to determine what that consistency is as the owner. Yes. Correct. I love that. Yeah, that's why, you know, Field Pulse is such a great tool in, for the field. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, what we're dealing with here is is Mrs. Jones, our customer, right? So so how does, you know, you know the, the field management software system help me communicate with my customer and keep them on track? So we take communication very, very, very seriously here at Field Pulse. Um, just to brag for a second, on our own company, we communicate with our customers. We are always available with our chat support and with our customer success team. So it starts there, but then it, it bleeds over and goes over into our product, which um, is one of the reasons I, I wanted to come work here when I did is because all of the communication tools, automations, triggers, avenues that we have built inside of Field Pulse. Um, and full disclosure, I use Field Pulse in my own business uh, before I came to work here. Mm -hmm. And the automations, the triggers, um, sending emails, um, getting paid via text message was, uh, it just blew the top off my brain. I was completely amazed that I could do that. And, and payments is a little bit off topic, but getting back to the communication, um, you need to meet customers where they are. Again, our mm -hmm. century now starts with a two, not a one anymore. Right. Customers are used to instantaneous feedback. They're used to Amazon right telling on. them your package is, on. is on the way. On the way. You know, and, it's at your door. And yes. And so, uh, you know, you, you think of something like fleet tracking, which doesn't seem like communication, but it is because inside of a software program like Field Pulse, your technician clicks the button that says on the way, it sends a communication, a, a text message or an email to your customer and says, your technician, Brian, um, just clocked in on your job. He's on his way. It's completely customizable. You can have the message say whatever you want. Right. And then it gives them a link where they can follow the truck on the road, just like Uber, just like oh, people yeah. are used to having with other software platforms. Mm -hmm. So that's a communication avenue with your customers. Um, and then again, any, any kind of communication uh, automation that you want inside of Field Pulse, chances are we got it. Um, so you can follow up on unanswered estimates. Uh, you can follow up on unpaid invoices. You can follow up on uh, progress status of, of a larger project. You know, say you have two or three phases like in a, in a new construction build. Right. You know, um, you sending completion emails to the project manager. Hey, we finished this phase. Here's, you know, your portion of the invoice, you know, for the job. That can all be done automatically. Right. Your techs are out in the field and they could compete on the job. That completes that phase of the project. That sends out an invoice. You approve it. And then you, it's, it's so much stuff that you don't have to do. Right. It's all, all automated. It can be done right. automatically. I want to say one thing. Um, one thing that you said with the routing, right? So just like... Um, um, what's the thing we had recently? And we, oh, DoorDash, DoorDash does yeah, that. I was going to say, I was always thinking DoorDash. Yeah, DoorDash. It's the basic thing, which is part of our lives. Right. We're, we're now in a two era, not a one. You say it nicer than I do. I yeah. say, 
We're no longer hacks. <laughs> We're providing. Right. Right. <laughs> so offering something like that, if you, you know, you're, you know, okay, your technician's on the way and you can look at him like, okay, he's 45 minutes out. I've got time too, because I'm yes. Mrs. Jones at home, kids, or I'm working from home or whatever it might be. Um, I'm, I'm busy. And so if I know I've got 45 minutes, I know that I can do these things, right? Two, three, whatever things, instead of going, well, he said he's on the way, but I don't know if he's across town, if he's across the street, you know, I don't know where he's at. Mm -hmm. Where with routing, you can definitely go and watch and say, okay, I, I, he's five minutes away. So I don't have time to go do blah, blah, blah. He's 45 minutes away. Yep. I got time to put right. in laundry. I got time to put the kids down, whatever it might be. And that then adds value. That adds value yes. so that when you plumber show up to the house in your nice truck, doing all the right things, um, you present the price, which is always going to be more than they think, they at least have experienced a value because that was valuable to the customer to know how far are you, when are you going to get here, right? There's a value. So that then just gives um, value to your price, right? Correct. Uh, Mm -hmm. And just, just to elaborate further on, on meeting customers where they are, uh, as an example, our CEO took his car into the dealership for some normal service, you know, maintenance stuff, whatever. And him being the CEO of a business, you can imagine he's very, very busy. He's kind of hard to get a hold of sometimes. Um, his entire transaction with them was through text message. Everything, mm -hmm. all the hey, suggestions, we found this, they sent pictures. Hey, you know, you think about this, we did this. He accepted and declined work all over text message because he's on video calls with other people doing, you know, CEO stuff. And so, right. um, but to, to bring it back in, into field pulse though, with, with communications and our engaged phone system that we have, you can track phone calls coming in um, and that email, that text message exchange you might have with a customer that can happen from a technician in the field on their device, or that can happen from the admin sitting in an office on her laptop. It's the same thread to the same customer. And so imagine an admin having a discussion with a customer um, before the job, you know, and Mrs. Jones says, hey, I need to postpone our, our job one hour. I've got this, this, and this to do. Yes, ma'am, absolutely no problem. I'll tell Jeff right now that, you know, th that he needs to show up one hour later. And all the admin has to do is say, hey, Jeff, not only you can look at your schedule, but you can also look at the text message thread. Maybe they had, maybe they gave you some special details about right. don't park in front of the neighbor's house. They're a complete jerk. You know, right. please don't ring the doorbell. Please don't do this and that and the other. The, te the tech out in the field can bring up the text message thread because it's one big, you know, uh, environment that all this communication lives in and they can see everything that That's the, so cool. that the customer said and vice versa where a customer calls and complains about, you know, the technician said this, this, and this, well, the owner can also go in and look at the same text message thread and say, you know, I don't see any of that communication in here. That's strange that you said that he texted that to you, but I don't see it. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Not... yeah. So having, having that is also, I mean, it's a value add for you for you being a, yes. um, and, but think about um, if you didn't have that, then it's like, okay, you're, you're com trying to communicate with other people on your staff. Did you reach out to them? Did you No, I sent a text. No, I thought you were going to send the text. La la la. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah. having all in one place, yeah, it, it, it eliminates, it, it gives you back time. Again, you're creating time out of thin air. Yeah. And speaking of time right. leads to another uh, advantage that, you know, when I, back in the day, when I was still chiseling on stone and that kind of thing, I would have to spend literally probably half a day from the prior, you know, look, looking at the prior week. Okay. How many jobs do we have? How many we did? What was to come up with my average ticket? You know, how many service calls did we have to walk out with service, just a service call ticket? What do we, you know, it's like, how that, when I, with a field management system, you're able to, I can get that information like right now. So I can say, okay, what, what's our average ticket right now, even for the, for the company and even break down, I can see how Joe's performing. Okay. How many, how many calls am I getting to Joe? How many is he closing? What's his average ticket? Okay. What, yes, what kind of job? Right. It's all right. right it's all right there. So maybe talk on that real time information, yeah. right. For the owner to be able to look in again, you know, we're assuming you got a couple of guys, you know, out in the field or, or more, whatever it might be, but real time. Um, how valuable is that? And that's one of the things I like about field pulse. Yeah. So our, our reporting tool that we have implemented, um, I'd say almost a year ago now, we, we had a reporting tool and it was, it was good, but there's been some advancements in that sector of, of, the, of 
the back end tools that we that our engineers use. And so we got a new one and we're still building it out to its full capacity every single day. We're releasing small little updates to it. Yeah. Um, but the the full capability, imagine being able to re- correlate the length of a phone call to the average ticket size. And you find that if you spend longer on the phone with somebody, their average ticket increases. You can get data like that. You can get right. unimaginable amounts of data. And us, you, me, Richard, as a small business owners, we have to compete at a level now with these private equity guys who are getting into the service game and right. they want that data. They have that yes. data. They can get that data. They are, they're playing on, they're playing on another level. They're playing on another plane. Mm-hmm. And so something like field pulse brings that power of data down to every single small business owner, every single service business owner that now you can do all those things that you just said, Richard, you can track your HVI by the hour. You can track your average ticket size. You can see what zip codes are the most profitable for you um, and least profitable. So you can up your marketing campaigns in that zip code, or you can see which avenue is the most prosperous for you for your marketing efforts. Um, I mean, anything and everything that you could possibly, and this goes back to the tool that we implemented in Fuel Pulse now, it's able to turn every single piece of data in Field Pulse into a report that you can generate. Doesn't this make you want to start a plumbing company? Please? I know. It's, I, <laughs> it's so easy today. It's so you freaking feel, easy. It's easy today. Oh, <laughs> it's so easy. You guys have no excuses. Right. Yeah. No. Well, Sorry. other than the fears hold back. I, I, and I'm, I'm that guy, you know. Daniel, I'm not a techie guy. I'm not wired that way. I, I, I understand now. I use it because, you know, I... I Cause I've got, gotten into it, you know, I, I've kind of, yeah. but I don't naturally, as we were talking even before in the green room, before we started here, you know, about the joke of, it seems like when I touch something, it doesn't work or it break, you know, it's true. You know, cause I just, it, like it knows I'm not techie. And so it's like, it's mm-hmm. laughing at It's me. like a cat. Right. Cats only start to curl around someone don't, that, right. that hates cats. Right. It's, it's just, <laughs> so that's how tech is with me. So that's how I went to it. But as you know, you know, we have the Success Academy and, and uh, you know, we teach the business of home service where, you know, we not, like, teach, you know, you should have field management software system. We recommend Field Pulse, by the way. Okay, I got to get that plug in there because I appreciate your time being here. There's a reason why Daniel's here because he's our favorite. Um, and so it's, it's having those things in place, but ultimately we're setting you up to sell that business, to create this asset. At first, we're doing it. We get into it. We're not thinking that way. We're just thinking about having our own job and making more money for ourselves instead of working freedom. for the other guy and the freedom, that kind of thing. But ultimately, you're setting this thing up to, to sell. And you mentioned that these big companies, the, the real money, I'm not talking, we're talking real money, okay? They're, they're going to give you multiples on what you're making, all right? Yeah. Where, where you retire, your, your, your kids can retire money, okay? Um, kind of stuff. They want to look at, you know, if you have pen and paper, that's not a system that they, they can duplicate. They can put more money in. You have like a field pulse with the kind of data that you have there and you can show that you have this data and here's where our best marketing and that kind of stuff. It just makes your company so much more valuable. So much, and, yeah. and, yes. and we just had, you know, and just so much so we, we just had one of our, one of our clients who went, you know, three and a half years ago, and I won't sell what they sold for, but three and a half years ago, they were broke. It was him in a truck. Okay. Broke. Under, over a hundred thousand dollars in debt. The marriage is on the brink. Okay. Cause of all the stress or whatever, three and a half years later, they just sold their, their company for uh, multi eight figures. And the reason they were able to do it, cause they had like, field pulse in place. They had these system, you know, and had so that real money is attracted to that because that's what makes yeah. you valuable. Right. You know? So I love that. Love that. That's mm-hmm. why get yeah, off the pen and, and you- paper. When, when you, uh, to put the ultimate nail in the coffin uh, on your pen and paper argument, Laura, uh, when, when you're running a business like that, you, you, you don't have a business that somebody wants to buy because they're going to have to buy it and then run it. Yes. The people that want to buy your business, they want to buy it and own it. They want it to make money on, on its own. And then they just collect the royalties. They just collect the profits. And so when you're, when you're on pen and paper, I've actually had this conversation with somebody in person at a training at an HVAC training I went to here at a suburb close to Dallas. And he's an elderly man and was all bent out of shape because he's trying to sell his business and you know, he can't get yeah. what he thinks it's worth. Right. And I just had a conversation with him, just a candid conversation like this. 
And I, I explained all of that to him. And I said, you know, how many customers do you think you have? And he said, well, I probably got about a thousand customers. I said, how many jobs do you do a year? He said, well, about a thousand, you know, about a thousand jobs. I said, okay, so you're only working for less than half of your customer base because not every single person is calling you. So all you have to sell me is a used truck, used tools, and a customer list. Right. I'll give you five grand. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> right. And he just, you know, and that it just kind of set him back. But right. I, I didn't say that to offend him. I said right. that from from a potential buyer's point of view. I, I I put it in perspective for him. And I wasn't trying to sell him field poles. I wasn't trying to do. I was just trying to make him understand. Hey, man, this is this is what people are seeing. This is what the outside perspective is. What what am I getting for my money? Right. Nothing. I'm I'm not getting anything. Mm. Right. I'm not getting. What what's the algorithm? Right. Well, what's, yeah. what's, what's the special sauce or, or you know, secret recipe? What's that? Yeah. That's what, that's what real money's buying. I love that you say mm -hmm. that. And it's sad. And you say that, I say it out of love too. And I know you said as a brother out there, this guy, you know, look, this is really, a, you know, you, okay, I'll give you five grand. I mean, that's really at the most. And that's being generous because I can go get customers. Yeah. I can Cause go I'm going to have to put another 80 to a hundred thousand dollars into buying, you know, right. mo a modern truck and getting my lettering on it and getting right. some new tools and, you know, and getting some kind of a system in place to manage this whole thing. And right. I'm going to have to hire two guys to go out and work, you know, well, and I got to do it. I, right, right. Yeah. And right. I have to do it. <laughs> so thank right. you, but no, thank you. That is, mm -hmm. that is exactly. a great, that is a great place to that. that, and, that yes. And yeah. that, that, cause that just wraps up on right it. there. Yeah. Cause that's right. it right there. Ultimately. Yes. What, what we're talking about. So, Hey, Daniel, this is great. If, if they want to know more about uh, fuel pulse, which you do. Okay. How can they learn more about fuel pulse or at least have a, a conversation? I know that, you know, um, you, I, I agree with you. You're not fuel pulse. People at fuel pulse and Daniel, not pushy. They're not going to force it, but they have a conversation to learn more about fuel pulse, which is, I hope you want to learn more about fuel pulse. Um, but even have a, have a conversation. How can they do that? Well, if they're already here, then they have, will have already visited your site. So um, just add a little forward slash to milliondollarpro.com and just forward slash field pulse. That'll take you to the page there on Richard's website that has all of our contact details, that has all the further information about field pulse. That's an easy way to find us. Um, and because of our relationship with you, Richard and Laura, we know where you're coming from. We know that you have spent time consuming the content that is Richard and his lovely wife. And so we have some special processes in place. We have some special um, special things that we like to do for the Million Dollar Pro customers. Love that. And it, they do. And we, true. and we truly appreciate that. Our, our clients, my customers love Fuel Pulse. Um, I, you mentioned something earlier. Communication is a big key. Um, um, Field Pulse, really, their communication is, you know, if you have an issue or a concern, they're with you that Tell day. Us. They're right, they're yeah, right just, on it, which is not the case. In, I mean, there's some other good companies out there. And I know you know, you know, um, but uh, the communication is a, is a big deal. Lacking. And Field Pulse uh, just really, uh, you know, takes care of their, their customers. Um, and they've proven now uh, a lot that they take care of. Um, our customers, which is important to us. Yes. We, so, we, we, we realize how important it is for our customers to communicate with their customers. So it only makes sense that we communicate with our customers. Um, our customers are what pay our bills. Um, so right, right. yeah, we, we have to take care of you. That's right. That's right. It's a win-win. Win-win winning. Okay. So it works. All right, man. Oh, Daniel, appreciate your time. Thanks yes. for taking time out of your day to, to be on here and, and share your expertise. And I really appreciate you, man. Yeah, thanks, so as always, guys, thank y'all for having right. me back. Yeah, All right. Look forward to seeing you. you again. All right. There you go. It's a no brainer. I know. Okay. Stop. He convinced me. He convinced okay. me I should not use pen and paper for my home service business. All I'm right. convinced. So it took him. I've been telling you <laughs> for how long? I know, but okay. you know. it took, took this other it's guy. Third, third party validation. Okay. All that? right. It works. All right. <laughs> it so I hope it worked for you. Hey, mm -hmm. check them out. All right. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash Fuel Pulse. Check. Mm -hmm. love, huge fans of Fuel Pulse. They're great. Okay. Yeah, it's they, all there. Yeah, their service. Have a great. conversation with them. They're not pushy. Um, get a demo. You get a demo. You get, get a demo. Get demo. Very affordable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do it. Check it out. Okay. Yeah. But also, we like to have a conversation. All right. If you want to learn more about, you know, how you can take your uh, home service business to the next level. Okay. Just, just, just want a little bit of help. Um, let's talk. Okay. Um, we'll have a simple conversation, find out more about your business, where you're at, what's holding you back, and then we'll point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. 
okay? Simply go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash call, all right, to schedule your conversation. C-A-L-L call. All right, with a success coach. We'll go from there. Look forward to speaking with you. All right, there we go. Okay. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So serve like a champion. Bye, everybody.